bam, back, bow with another video. We're going to be talking about AMC stock steadily crashing after it had the reverse stock split. That's why you see AMC right around $14. There's a ticker symbol right here. We're going to go over a couple levels on AMC. But like I said, stay away from AMC this week. It is not worth it. Actually, we're going to clear all this off. Because all this is going to change. AMC is about to make lows, the lowest that has ever been, at least on since it's been on the market. It's going to be the lowest it's ever been. The low was about like 1057. I do believe we're going to be breaking that, which also leads me to uh, where I believe buying pressure might come in, support, resistance, and so forth. Let's get straight into it. Get the video over 100 likes if you guys want an AMC update, maybe after the market closes, depending on what happens, or maybe tomorrow. Today, I did do two scalp plays. One, I did a Netflix put option play. We got about 20% gain on that. And then I did a PayPal put option play. It got over 50% gain. The last one was 66% gain on that. So say if you put $1,000 on both plays, you'll probably be up around 700, 70% on your positions. This is what I do to bring a consistent profit. This is what I do every morning, private live streams. These are the plays I send out. These are the scalps of options I'm doing every morning, bringing that consistent profit. And then I'll play AMC whenever I want to if something is clear, right? September 11th, we open back up. This is where you'll see all the plays that I do every morning. September 11th, we only have one more open date, and then we're going to be closed for the rest of the year, so be prepared. So AMC did have the reverse split. That's why you see the highest price. They also have the conversion tomorrow as well. We'll probably go over APE as well. You see that one's dropping. And then I'll throw GameStop at the end as well. But you guys know I'm not really looking to play GameStop. But they do have earnings coming up that could be big also. So AMC stock. Let me put the ticker to, uh, ticker symbol back up here. Now remember, I did play AMC stock three times. I played it here, sold it here, played it here, sold it there, and played it there, sold it there. All three profitable plays. This is exactly why I also don't hold AMC because AMC is not bullish. Why would I hold a stock? That is not in a bullish movement. We are bearish. We are going down. Understand that. If you understand that, you'll help yourself from these losses, right? We played AMC three times in the last month, and they're all profitable, okay? There's a reason for that. So now that AMC is crashing, right, literally going down to the floor, the number one thing that we need on AMC right now is what? Support. Without support, AMC is going to continue, continue to fall. Just like it had this downward movement right here. It fell. And what did it build? Support. I literally bought it at the bottom of that fourth day. And then I sold it that next day up there. Right. Because it built support. It was showing pressure on the higher side. It gave entries. It gave exits. Right now, we don't have any of that. And we have all this massive news that's coming out with the reverse split, the ape conversion. We don't really know how AMC is going to be moving after the reverse split, after the conversion. That's why I said next week, that's when we could probably get in a play of AMC because i will expecting a reversal. The only way to play AMC right now is a reversal to higher prices. So I think AMC might be going down to around, I'm going to say for now, I'm going to say $10, okay? That's where I'm going to just put it. It might not hit $10, but for now, I'm going to put it at about $10. That's why I feel like AMC might go. But again, we could find support before $10. Or it might break that $10 mark and we find it below. But so far, I'm watching right around that $10 as a big buying pressure area. Also, today, resistance and support. They're not really clear today. So what you want to do is you just want to let AMC move. Let it go. Don't worry about it. Let, it, uh, let the conversion move as well. We'll get it next week. But watch the $10 mark just in case we get a bigger crash. Like AMC could crash very fast. As you guys can tell, it is down within like what? Five trading days is down over 64%. That is nothing you want to be holding. And you definitely don't want to be adding more right now on AMC, right? Let's play it the smart way of how we can actually be profitable. That is the only reason you're in the market is to be profitable. I'm assuming, right? You don't want to be losing. So let AMC fall. Let AMC build that support. I'm watching it right around $10. We'll kind of see. We'll kind of see how it does with the Ape conversion. We also need to see where it closes and how price moves at the end of the day. Like I said, I might update you guys, but that's it really for AMC. I'm kind of just watching that $10 range, trying to see where it closes. And then tomorrow we'll watch it as well. APE. We'll just let that go. It's nothing really to do on AP. They're about to convert anyway, so we'll let that move. And GameStop broke the support right around $17, so maybe the next support we'll put is around $16. They also have earnings coming around September 6th, 
So usually AMC has big movements then. So I mean, GameStop has big movements then. So for GameStop, I'll probably wait around the earnings to uh, try to play GameStop. We'll kind of see because usually it does continue. And remember what I told you guys of AMC. What happens after earnings? It continues in that direction for a month. AMC was bearish after earnings. And what are we doing so far for the whole month of August? We are going bearish. I told you guys this a long time ago. It usually moves in that direction for a month, which is also a reason why I'm not really trading AMC as I sold it last time here. A lot of stuff I tell you guys. So hope you guys watched the video, enjoyed it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Please make sure it's the right one. Also, September 11th, we open back up the team. If you want to see what I buy and sell every day, profitable every week. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything, just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye.